I'm Mark Kelly and Mr. Saltwater Tank, coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com, and this is Mr. Saltwater Tank RUF, having a second look this week at the Kamer Stepper Doser. Last week, I gave you first impressions on the pump. This week, we're gonna dive into the tech of this thing because you control it only through an app. All right, so first things first, we have to download the app, which I have already done. So that's just an easy download. One thing that I noticed last year, last year, last week that I liked was when you open up the box, there's a QR code, you scan it for either the iOS app or the Android app, which I really like because then it's really easy, it takes you straight to the app store in the case of the iOS, and you know which app there is to get. No confusion, takes you right there. I really like that. Please add your device first. Click to add devices. Okay, so that's nice. It's got a little like dialog box there showing me exactly where to click. I like that. A lot of times apps will say, click to add device, and you're like, click what? What am I supposed to be looking for? Just got the pump set up in the Wi-Fi by simply holding the button on the front, waiting for that intermittent blinking, which it's doing. There I am, I'm on the pump's Wi-Fi. I have the Wi-Fi icon. Jumping into the app, set that, I'm there. Now I'm back into the app. It's looking, switch back to your home router, okay. I'm back to my home router. I'm gonna go back to the app. Already switched. Successful connect, awesome. Start to use. Binding, whatever that means. There's my pump. It sees that it's online. Let's jump into how we control this thing. Firmware, time error, firmware, time, and Phone time or inconsistent. That's important, especially if you want dosing to happen at certain times. Sync, let's see how quick that goes. Sometimes syncing takes a long time. Sometimes you have to reboot devices. Now I'm waiting, I'm stuck. There, so it's synced. Added amount, start, work, settings. Oh wow, hit start, it's now dosing 100. Okay, if this was underneath your stand, you could definitely hear that. And to be fair, all I did was say, dose 100 mils. It's not like I told it to do it over 24 hours. So it's probably pumping in 100 mils as fast as possible. I liked that it counted down in the app. That's pretty cool. So, manual dose. Let's go to, oh, look at this. So I clicked the little arrow. Plan, manual, continuity. Okay, let's click around here. Container volume. So it tells me, I can tell it how big the volume is. It'll tell you how much is left. That's cool, plan function. I don't know what that is, but I'm assuming that means set up a program. Select cycle mode by days or weekly. Oh, that's cool, by days. So let's say every day. So I can do every day. I'm assuming every other couple days, execute run plans. Click to add plan group. So name, dose, this is a little strange. It may just be the translation, plan group, like why doesn't it say click to add your dosing schedule? Time, I can choose when do I want it to start, when do I want it to stop, in this case I'm doing 24 hours a day. Save, dose. Click on this, name, dose, name, yep, that's what I named it, okay. Now what I wanna know is how do I there's a plan, dose every time, execute run plans, add a plan, start time. So when do I want it to dose? Let's say I want it to dose at six o'clock at night. And let's tell it that I want it to dose um, 10 mils, safe. Okay, so every day at six o'clock, it's gonna dose 10 mils. And it's gonna run this plan between 24 hours a day. A little strange to me, I have to tell it when I want it to dose, run this plan, and then I have to go back and add when I want it to dose. That's, I'm almost, it seems like I'm repeating myself. Not the end of the world. Okay, quick add, what does quick add get me? All plans in the group will be replaced after savings. Okay, cancel, I don't want to do that. Settings, firmware, firmware is up to date, that's nice. Tube setting, time setting, connect to controller. Oh, that's if I want to connect to it. Flow calibration so I can calibrate it. I like that. 
if we're dosing something, we want it to be precise. And it's nice that you can calibrate it. So we already synced the time. Okay, I'm syncing the time again. Daily ad, I can see that I'm dosing 10 mils. I got 200 left, 20 days left in this plan. How did it come up with 20 days? Okay, at this point, this is pretty good. Let's be fair, I'm dump, jumping into this blind. I haven't read an owner's manual. I haven't looked at any videos. I'm just going to see how intuitive this thing is straight out of the box. At this point, if I would purchase this, I would stop, I would look to see if there are any videos for it, read the owner's manual, because I've clearly set up some dosing, but I wouldn't trust what I've set up enough to dose something major in my tank like alkalinity. Pretty intuitive, not clear what it's actually going to do. I don't know what exactly it's going to do, so I wanna be sure. So overall, nice small pump, software's pretty good. Just make sure you click that you want the K-more doser, not the DDH2O Aqua one. That was a little confusing. I would recommend you jump in there and try to set something up. Before you trust it 100%, watch those videos if there are any. Again, this is a raw show. I don't even know if there are videos. Read the owner's manual before you go dose something that's like alkalinity that can cause major issues in your tank just to make sure you have this thing set up. Now, I will say this. This is a standalone doser. You don't need any kind of controller to run it. So it's gonna have its pros and cons. If you're looking for a standalone doser, yeah, I would run this thing, but I would do a little more homework on it before I just jump in there and set it up and then run with it. There you go. There's a look at the Kmore Stepper Doser. I'm Mark Callen, Mr. Saltwater Tank, coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. Until next time, enjoy your tanks, read the owner's manual, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Mm -hmm.